welcome golden empress collection here gemini this is your april reading thank you so much for all of the likes the shares and the subscribes i'm going to take a look and see what divine spiritual messages are out there for my divine masculine and my divine feminine and then quite possibly move over into an extended so let's see okay so what is your particular energy the three of wands so when we say three of wands, we think a while ago with this, but this is also travel. I think this is you divine masculines trying to get ready for something. Bottom of the deck, the knight of pentacles, yeah, awaiting, definitely a sense of waiting. But you're, when I say get ready for something, I see that you are, some of you guys, this is kind of an energy Gemini of reinventing yourself here. Gemini masculines. What's crossing my Gemini masculines with this three of wands? Waiting. You, I think that you decided, or you, you put plans into action, and it's more than one, and now you're trying to figure out which one to be loyal to. Queen of Swords, Eight of Wands. You're receiving some sort of spiritual message. I think that this is about, you know, your your the decision that you're going to make in order to you're gonna you have to learn something here, but at the same time, it's what's going to be productive and what's going to be healthy for you. Divine masculine energy. What's your distant past energy? Your distant past, it, and I don't think you want to wait. That's another thing. The distant past energy was this new offer. Some of you divine masculines, maybe you met someone new. You could have met someone that is younger than you. Okay, yeah. Someone that kind of stole your heart here is what I'm thinking with this tower moment. Like you, there was something, yeah, burden. You, you might have been in a really bad place or a bad spot in your life, and there's someone who showed up unexpectedly here. I think whoever this particular person is, they actually wear their heart on their sleeve. You know, Gemini, they told you something. Very, very unexpected here, okay? Um, I also think that for some of you guys, Gemini masculines, you could have found out that you have a child. It doesn't matter how old this child is. Could be a newborn all the way up to uh, an adult. You know, a child that you weren't thinking about or you didn't expect. Most recent past here, you're dealing with the devil and the sun together. With the emperor at the bottom of the deck, divine masculine. Okay, things being exposed. When you have the devil card with the sun card, it's... <laughs> Yeah, it's it's public image. It's good things happening, right? Because you, you can't deny how the sun shines. You can't deny the truth around someone taking the opportunity to heal. You know, Chiron is actually sitting in Aries. The moon's about to be moving into Leo. So any deception that's around you, again, all of this is going to kind of come out and, and be seen here. You know, it'll be a little bit of that change. Maybe there was an eclipse season as well. That's kind of what I'm picking up, knowing that um, you guys are kind of sitting in an energy of where the moon phase is bringing some emotional draw your way. Page of Cups. The, to me, this is that, that, that feminine energy that's around you. Someone knocked you for a loop here, Divine Masculine. Mm -hmm. Maybe you guys met the right one. That's kind of what I'm picking up on here. You must have met the right one. Someone that said, should I change my ways? <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, it's got you thinking about the past here. You know, just recently. And there's something that... What is this? Remember I told you about children? Hmm. If somebody's finding out that they have children, I have a feeling that someone is not expecting to... Um, keep this this energy up. It, children is conflict for someone here. See what I'm saying? Disinterested. You know, um, I'm also picking up on an energy of this would also be angry. You know, very passionately, vehemently projecting, saying, hey, I want this to go my way, my way only. 
Um, you know, I also feel like for some of you, you don't want to be bound to anything. You refuse to be bound to something. For some of you guys, if this has to do with children, you're looking at it as a problem and, and not a blessing. It, it just is what it is. You know, I, and I think for some of you masculines, it's interesting. I'm, I'm actually picking up on a masculine that is watching another masculine go through this and would love more than anything to be in a relationship and have children with someone. And it's almost like they're mad that their homeboy here, you know, is is really showing their true toxic side. You know, when it comes to not being responsibilities or not being responsible here. Okay, masculines. It's, it's actually kind of disheartening with the um, Six of Cups here and the Five of Wands because I, I don't think, you know, it's kind of that age-old saying that, you know, a child didn't ask to be here. <laughs> so how would you judge a child and not take care of any child that you brought into this world? Okay, Gemini? All right. I don't know. It's just, it's almost difference of opinion. It's almost like the toxicity again. Toxicity had to be revealed about somebody not being able to travel to do the things that they want to do. Remember I told you you're having to patiently wait. You know, it could be messing with your finances also here, masculines. Yeah. Just be careful with the things that you are choosing. All right. I would definitely say letting go of baggage. You know, and thinking about the past and things that are truly bothering you, that's asking, you know, spirits asking you not to get caught up in whatever emotional vibration that is. And because, and I, like I said, it's there's something that happened, emotional conflict, emotionally, you know, damaged in some way. And there's a, different levels of severity depending on what you've been going through here, Divine Masculine. But what's crowning you is this, they're telling you that the direction that you're headed in it might trigger something. It might bring up old wounds, okay? You guys, some of you guys, it could be that this was a Capricorn or a Leo child, um, or you're you're revealing that this child is now out. Somebody, I feel like this child is coming looking for somebody here, Gemini. I'm telling you, see? Somebody wants an offer of love. Someone wants an offer of commitment. This, it, I'm, when you cannot make this up, I am picking up on children here. This could be possible pregnancy. Someone's getting pregnant. All right. Yeah, I'm also seeing adoption here too. I'm seeing adoption here too. Someone had been lied to their whole life and, and told that, you know, their their child was their child and come to find out that's not the case. Their their mother could have been a Capricorn and not a Leo, something like that, um, or, or vice versa. It just, but it all comes out now. And there's going to be some sort of an offer here where the past doesn't have to be deceptive anymore. There's a message of opportunity coming in here. Someone is moving towards you, Gemini. All right. They want to talk to you about the deceit, the things that happened in the past. I think you need to be open and willing to respect um, some sort of love vibration here. That's another thing. For some of you guys, I'm just thinking to myself, this also could be past life energy where you have someone around you, someone that possibly gave someone up at birth, and now there's someone here. And, and if you, let's say for instance, are just meeting someone in your life, this person could have been a divine feminine energy that was meant to be around you. And, and it's almost like, I, I, I mean, I kind of see conflict here, but it's not meant to be that way. It's meant to allow the divine feminine energy to come in and help this vibration of being emotionally stal I was gonna say stallion, stable and bal balanced. I keep wanting to say stallion. So there's something here where someone is, yeah, there's, there's something here. No more emotional conflict is what I'm picking up on. It's, it's time to let that go and to balance out and, and understand the loyalty that you've been waiting for or something true from the divine, the, the message of stability is going to come in. I think as long as you're accepting of the message, it's going to be a good one. Okay. But you have to learn to stop ruminating. You have to learn to let go of the toxicity. Yeah, see? There's stability here. You're planting possible seeds. All right. Here's the other thing. And you know, you, um, yeah. You cannot make this up because now you have the queen of cups 
this is about love. This is about how you are going to be structured and living your life in the future between the seven of pentacles and the queen of pentacles. All the seeds that you have planted and the things that you are going to grow and flourish as long as your vibration, okay, of emotion is balanced here. Yeah. Yep, I'm telling you. You have a divine feminine energy that wants to work with you. Okay. Walk away from the things that aren't serving you and allow spirit to assist you and the divine feminine or the divine feminine energy that's being called. Okay. Yeah. See, new opportunity. Pretty much what I see, pretty much what I feel. Gemini divine feminine energy. I'm pulling out a completely different deck for you guys. This deck is one of beauty. It is called the Good Tarot. So we're going to go ahead and put our masculines over there. And we're going to look at the Good Tarot for my feminines. The green energy is actually a very nice vibration. It says whatever it is you're trying to do right now, make sure you, you go full force. Like if you're winning money, this is money. You, I feel cedar with this energy. You guys have a good luck button around you. Go ahead and push it. Let that money flow, Gemini. Gemini, Divine Feminines. This is take two. So currently around you, okay. <sighs> Maybe you had some money troubles here. Three of air and the four of earth. And you also, yeah, you did have some money troubles here, okay. You, you, it's kind of like, um, it's almost like you, you wanted, some, you wanted more than what you were getting. Okay, Gemini. And so you decided to somewhat invest here. There's other people around you. I think that you kind of went back, you stepped back and said, let me think about how this is actually all going to play out. I think you were thinking about some of the cycles that have gone on around you, things that maybe you have done karma wise that have caused some sort of pain. Um, this four of earth i see her actually not necessarily holding on very tightly to something but she could be offering balance as well you have the eight of fire here yeah panda energy please be careful who you're dealing with pandas can go both ways all right um but i do know that it's again a card of motion when stagnancy could be happening and you don't want that you don't want to be stuck in any sort of stagnant energy that's why i said positivity is on your way with that eight of wands you cannot make it up. I told you positivity. And this is what you were hoping for in the past, the Ten of Cups. Maybe there was something that you really desired, Ace of Air. It was a conversation. There was a truth that was revealed about the things that you realized were going to make you happy. The Ace of Wands here, this same energy that was sitting in the new opportunity for the Divine Masculines. For some of you guys, you're not even dealing with a Gemini here. You're dealing with a Pisces, you have a Libra, and then you also have Taurus energy around you. But this is, again, because we're dealing with Taurus and then we also have Libra here, Venus. I mean, just Venus, lovemaking, truth abundance blessing something that you know you were dealing with that you just said i like this a lot and i'm just gonna stay there <laughs> okay um for some of you guys if this is a third party love affair you were possibly the third party and your person was not really offering you more than anything that was of page action okay they weren't coming in as an emperor just the page show me the uh, recent past for my divine feminine gemini's Yes, I just heard. Nine of Earth, the recent past. I think it's realizing that you're single, okay? It's this third party energy where somebody really was possibly trying to be a third party and hold on to someone here and then realizing again, and I just heard again, again that the person that you were trying to commit to or trying to um, have relations with all of that, this person was doing the most. You know, and in it, like, cause I'm seeing this, I know it's not, but I'm seeing mushrooms here. And I do believe mushrooms can, can create like hallucinogenic energy. And so I think that you were un under some sort of delusion, whether or not it was spiritually, or it was just like, you were really being duped by somebody here to make you think that you were the one when really this person had you sitting in a position of being a third party. 
but you're abundant. And I told you that recent past with your money getting ready to come through after feeling like there was a popper energy around you, you did something. There was something that spiritually aligned for you and brought you into this peace and prosperity. Clarify the nine of pentacles. I'm hearing no. Go, we're going to go straight to what's crowning you. Because this nine of pentacles energy is one of appreciation and, and faith right you see how she has her hands together this is someone who has designly and divinely prayed and orchestrated to give through service and because this person has given god gave back to them they watched everything that they did with these nine of pentacles and creating something positive not only to where this person is stable and just but this person is also you know balanced which i mean being you and i see that this energy right back here is kind of like it's it's mirroring the energy that this person has put out around themselves to say okay well we're going to provide you with the best possible thing okay and that's for you divine feminine this is you you know stepping into your power that's that lottery ticket i think you guys need to check that hashtag fnlt and go back because i know that there's been a couple of readings where i keep seeing lottery tickets for people you know there's major lottery winnings coming in some of you guys it's those 20 dollars scratchers that's what I just heard. So if there's top prizes that haven't been collected, go ahead, right? Messenger of air and earth. Remember I told you, with this energy here, the stability and the balance and how you're giving of service, it's also the Eight of Pentacles as well. This is what's pushing you forward. I think that you actually really like being able to take care and provide service for other people. And... and it's because of the fact that you know that you've been hurt in the past. Some of you guys, yeah, Ace of Water. Some of you guys have moved past people trying to abuse you. People, and remember I said again, people, have, you're moving past that and learning to love yourself. You are the divine energy. You are the chosen one here, okay? And it's all up to you how you listen to what message spirit's going to be bringing in for you to say, yeah, baby, Gemini, love yourself, work on yourself, do for you. Okay. For so, and I'm just thinking to myself, I know that some of you all have this third party energy around you and you're still stuck on them a little bit. You know, you again, recently found yourself single. For some of you guys, if this person is playing games with you, do not, and I repeat, do not go to lunch with this person. That's what I hear. Don't, if this person comes to your job and asks you to go somewhere here, I'm hearing don't go. You're going to have to really weigh this offer that's coming into you between the eight of water and the four of water here. It's you have a split decision. All right. You might be taking me to Denny's, whatever. But what I'm saying to you is, is you really do need to understand whether or not it's going to create drama at your job. You've got a very major project getting ready to come up here, whether it's you know, divinely serving God and passing on a spiritual message, or it's creating a company projected budget sheet or something along those lines. And this proposal is going to bring in millions. You don't need this person jacking it up for you. You have everything coming your way, but there's a third party energy that wants to try to hold on to you. Stay in your positive, blessed energy. Okay. This is the card of rejection. If you feel like you need to be rejecting this person, go right on ahead and do it. Okay? Yeah, I just, yeah, listen, your outcome, ace of water, not allowing someone to come in here. That person knocks on that door, right? Gemini, you're going to say, who is it? You're going to realize it's someone from the past and you're not even going to bother. Oh, she's not here. <laughs> that person doesn't live here. <laughs> or however. Do you see what I'm saying? It's the phone call that comes in at midnight that, what, I'm sorry, you're not calling me between the hours of eight and five. Why is that? Because this person wants to have some sort of control over you. You are glowing. You are shining. You are a diamond. Okay, Gemini, you're doing what you need to be doing here. For some of you guys, I also see that if there was, again, someone that you were looking forward and towards, that is coming in for you. Okay, page of fire. Do you remember how I said that there was someone here who was only offering that page energy? I feel like that's because here's this ace of pentacles right here. That spirit offered you possibly doing something else. Learning how to control something and do what you need to do. The other thing is, is I see that this is them telling you that there's a secret here. 
Okay, there could be a Leo energy that is pregnant, Gemini. Yes, very much so. Give me one more on whatever this Ace of Cups and Strength card is, this beautiful Divine Feminine energy. I hope you guys are going to find this in Love and Light, Five of Earth and Seven of Air. You will be healing yourself from the lack and the deception here, okay? The other thing is, is again, Page of Air and High Priestess. Remember what I told you, if there's a third party energy around here, there is a secret sexual relationship that Gemini, you don't know about. It has also created an energy of children, okay? And I'm thinking to myself that there's possibly a pregnancy that someone needs to learn about. Um, I'm a little weirded out by the fact that this Seven of Swords came out on top of this strength card like that. This is, and it's kind of weird because what I'm thinking is, is there's a fake person in this energy. I don't think that it's you unless you're deceiving yourself here and telling yourself that you don't deserve more than what you're supposed to. But I, I can't see that that's what's happening because you know you've got these opportunities coming in, right? Don't you, listen, don't let anyone take your golden opportunity here. Don't let anybody take whatever this energy is. This Ace of Pentacles is coming to you and you're going to have to fight for it. You're going to have to say, yes, I want this abundance because there is someone that's upside down that would be willing to kind of rob you of that with the Seven of Air and the Five of Pentacles. What is this energy of being robbed the Three of Wands, okay, that's interesting. The Ace of Pentacles, remember the Divine Masculine had the Three of Wands too, and the Two, the King of Cups. Don't, okay, so someone is ghosting someone here. If this is pregnancy energy, someone is ghosting a pregnancy, but this is also a soulmate reunion that was supposed to come back in. Don't be deceptive and don't let your past life energy with this particular cycle be drained. <clears throat> if this is a Leo energy that's around you, or or this or there is someone you're waiting. I don't know what this Leo. I'm thinking to myself, it's like someone doesn't want to get old. I I feel that someone wants to stay young, he healthy, and sexy for the rest of their life, right? Um, I don't think your person really is tripping off of that. The other thing that I'm thinking though is that because Gemini, this is as loud and clear as it is. You have a soul contract with someone here that wants to be deceptive. Your sole mission here is to understand exactly who this person is to you and how they will affect your finances and money. Do not deceive yourself, okay? You you are strong. You are very strong. And you're going to be tested. You're going to be um, put towards a weak moment here. But you will succeed and you will prevail because this is what spirit wants for you. There is a divinely guided person that's going to come in here and help you to understand the faith that it takes when deception is present. The Vimeo extended link is going to be below. Gemini, I love this energy for you. When we go into the extended, we also look at you specifically and then your person. Intentions towards each other, the heart space, as well as the mind. What are you guys thinking about each other? Um, any other spiritual messages that happen to need to come out as well? Gemini, I hope this April finds you well. Don't forget, hashtag FNLT for your Friday Night Love Tarot. That's where we go live and have great conversation. I love you bunches. Peace and elbow grease.